Next question. This is your uh, problem. Kurmi textbook 23.22. The mass of an electric motor is 120 kg running at 1500 rpm. Armature mass is 35 kg. Okay. So here I want to tell you one thing. There will be two masses in all these problems. This is your this is your uh, dead weight and this is your disturbance creating weight because armature is the rotating part. Okay, when you are going to find out the centrifugal force, m omega square r, you have to use this mass because this is the rotating mass. This is the entire mass. This you have to use to find the static deflection. This you have to use to find the centrifugal force. Clear? Because it is a rotating mass. Okay. So, 35 kg armature and its center of gravity lies 0.5 millimeter from the axis of rotation. Okay, so that is your uh, radius m, m omega square r. So that r is your 0.5 millimeter. Okay, motor is mounted on five springs of negligible damping so that the force transmitted is 11th of the impressed force. So this epsilon is directly given in question. Whatever force you apply, 11th is transmitted to the foundation. Okay, assume that the mass of the motor is equally distributed among the five springs. Determine stiffness of each spring. Okay, so you have to find the stiffness and divide it by 5 because you have 5 springs. Be very careful. Okay, so dynamic force transmitted to the base at the operating speed, natural frequency of the system. Three things we are going to find out. Any any doubts in question, please clearly understand the question. Now we will let us list down the given data. I am going to take this dead load of the entire load of the motor as M1 and the rotating mass motor of the motor armature 35 kg as M2. So radius eccentricity is 0 0.5. So 5 into 10 power minus 4 meter. Epsilon is 1 by 11. Rotating at 1500 rpm, find the omega of that, it comes around 157 radians, okay, per second. So, stiffness of each spring, first I am going to find out. Let S is equal to, combined stiffness of the springs, okay, combined stiffness means there are totally 5 springs, they should be in plural, springs in Newton meter. And omega N equal to natural circular frequency of vibration of the machine in radians per second, okay. So, we know that transmissibility ratio omega is equal to, 1 by omega by omega and also because there is negligible damping that's why I am taking this formula otherwise your formula will be very large okay so negligible damping a word is mentioned in the question therefore I am taking 1 by omega by omega n square minus 1 okay so 1 by 11 equal to since uh, epsilon is given in question as 1 by 11 1 by 11 equal to 1 by omega by omega n the whole square minus 1 so what I am doing I am taking LCM in the denominator and I am manipulating mathematically so <coughs> you just observe the denominator what will happen uh, I am going to take the LCM here so I am bringing the square root inside and making omega square by omega n square and then I am taking the LCM here multiply this here and make the common denominator omega square by omega minus omega n square by omega square take it to the numerator so it omega n square by omega square minus omega n square okay so omega alone I know omega n I don't know omega I know 157 so put it here 1 by 11 equal to omega n square divided by 157.1 whole square minus omega n square. So from this solve for omega n. Okay. So cross multiply, rearrange everything and then if I find out the value of omega n, it comes around 45.35 radians per second. What is this? Natural circular frequency of the system. Okay. So 45.35. So I know the natural frequency equal root of S by M from this find the S. Okay. So S is omega n square into M. So it comes around 246,840 Newton per meter, which is stiffness of 5 springs put together. Now divide this by 5 to get the stiffness of each spring. So if you don't read the question very carefully, you will miss that 5. Okay, you will write this as answer, it is not correct. So for combined stiffness of 5 springs equal to 246,840. So divide this by 5, you will get the stiffness of each spring, 49,368 Newton per meter. So hence the stiffness of one spring equal to 49,368. Newton per meter. Clear. So now next next uh, question. Dynamic force transmitted to the base at the operating speed 1500 rpm. Okay, we know that maximum unbalanced force on the motor due to armature. Find the centrifugal force m omega square r. Now this is your armature mass. That is your rotating part of the motor. So 35 kg multiplied by 157 radians multiplied by 0.5 millimeter eccentricity. Put all the things in meter. 35 kg 157 radians 5 into 10 power minus 4 meter. Find the centrifugal force value 432 Newton is the force exerted. Dynamic force transmitted to the base epsilon into F. Okay, so what is this F? F, F is your uh, unbalanced disturbing force created by this armature because it is 0.5 mm offset from the center of gravity, it is creating 432 Newton. This 432 Newton, out of this 432 Newton, 
111th of this 432 newton is transmitted to the foundation that is your epsilon okay multiply that 111 1 by 11 to this 432 you will get the force transmitted to the foundation very simple logic okay so epsilon is 1 by 11 this is 432 multiply them you will get 39.27 newton is the force transmitted to the foundation at 1500 rpm okay so dynamic force transmitted to the base ft equal to 39.27 last question natural frequency of system that you already found out 45.35 okay so you don't have to do it again results so stiffness of one spring 49.368 dynamic force transmitted to the base 39.27 natural frequency of system is 45.35 Clear? So that completes the problem. It is taken from your community textbook 23.5.